Brad Davis, lesson October 27th, 2014. What we're working on today with Brad is just to get a little bit tighter and narrower with his arm motion. And you can see with this, the way he's moving here, his body's really synchronizing well with his arm motion. Now, over the last couple of years with Brad, we've worked hard on getting his body to pivot well, and he's done a really good job with this, and it's working really well now. We worked last lesson, the last month or so, we've been working on different arm direction and, and the way that club moves back and getting up a bit higher. He's done a great job with this too, but now we're just trying to get some better symmetry of movement between um, his arms back and down, which should create a tighter shot pattern. Okay, one more, one more button. So we'll see in the way back here with Brad, we haven't got the, his original video um, from before, but when we looked at the video before, from shoulder height, when the club, club shaft was at shoulder height and the club shaft was at shoulder height and the way down, so back and down, there was about a seven or eight inch discrepancy between the two motions. With this motion here, it should be a lot tighter back and through. Okay, so that one just got a bit under on the way down. Can you feel it? I, I couldn't feel what it was, but I felt it wasn't good. So your arms, your, 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 your arms weren't aggressive enough in the way through. Your arms didn't lead through enough. So that it, it kind of feels like it's a bit more of a, an armsy motion, doesn't it? It doesn't feel as much body in it? Yeah. Good. So that's what you want, but your, your arms have to feel more armsy. You feel like they're leading more on the way through. That's better. <laughs>